The next piece of technology I want to talk to you about is called ZoomText. ZoomText is a software program that enhances the use of a screen on a computer for people with low vision. It has two components. One component has to do with changing the way the screen looks, like by adjusting the size and color and other enhancements. The second part involves a speech synthesizer, which makes the screen audible to the user. The first thing I'd like to show you is how I enhance the screen using ZoomText. I'm going to click on ZoomText. One thing you can do with ZoomText is adjust the level of magnification. I use 2.5 times magnification. Mm -hmm that you can make it quite large, in fact up to 36 times as large as a regular screen. Another thing you can do is adjust the color background. For example, you can invert the brightness because this makes it easier for some people to see the screen. Or you can do yellow on black. I'll try one more. How about black and white? Another thing you can do is adjust the pointer. As you see, I like to use a yellow pointer. It makes it easier for me to see. But if you fancy red with a circle, you could use that. Or you could use a green one. That's kind of fun. Or just a regular pointer. Other options that you might have available to you are adjusting the cursor, adjusting the font. There's all kinds of neat things you can do with Zoom text. The neat thing about Zoom text is you can complement your use of visual enhancements with a voice synthesizer. So let's look at this document. As I desktop activated, access 18 as the 18. cursor passes over the icon, it tells me what it is, so I can click on it. Windows Microsoft Word. So here I am in this document. One thing I would like to do with this Zoom document is read it. Zoom text, zoom text section. So I'll turn on Reading. my document reader. Picker button, play button, the World Wide Web Consortium Web Accessibility Initiative www.w3c.org.y slash dot provide an excellent framework for building and testing accessible websites. Another thing that I can do is when I'm typing in a document, the computer will read to me what I'm typing. Hello. Can you are a here what I am. Unfortunately I'm not a very good typist. Typing. Hello. Hello, can you hear what I am typing? So this is a neat enhancement for somebody who has low vision who wants to adjust how the screen looks and also listen to what they're typing. It's a little bit different from somebody who's just using a screen reader who's totally blind. They might use a different program where they're just listening to the screen. So how can the instructor help facilitate the use of Zoom text and similar kinds of programs for a student? Well, the first thing you can do is make sure that all the materials that you have on the web, whether it's your uh, description of the course or other materials that you put on the web, make sure that they're accessible to somebody using the kind of software that I've been demonstrating. The best way to do that is to look at the guidelines set out by the World Wide Web Consortium. They have guidelines on content accessibility that are posted on the web. And if you have any difficulty in understanding what I just said or you want help with that, make sure you consult with a web specialist who has information and experience in doing websites that are accessible to people with disabilities. The second thing you should do is ask your students if they would like materials on the web because having different readings on the web, having the syllabus on the web can actually help a student who is blind or visually impaired because they can look at those materials using Zoom text or using speech and read the materials, change the way they look to make it easier for them to read. But again, make sure that the materials that you're posting are accessible for that student.